LLM Ops is a new toolkit in the town after DevOps. Bezo is a new generative AI tool which lets you do this LLM Ops quite easily. I know LLM Ops is a bit of a tongue twister, but Bezo has made it really simple, I would say. In simple words, Bezo is an open source toolkit which is designed to streamline the process of AI development. It empowers developers and teams to leverage the full potential of AI models in their application with ease. There are a lot of cool features with Bezo, which I will show you shortly. Some of the finest features are centralized prompt management and then instant deployment, observability, and also troubleshooting. But I believe right now where Bezo shines is in prompt management. Now, if you have dealt with the different models on hugging face or anywhere else and if you have done prompt engineering which is just a simple way to ask model to something then you would notice that different models have different prompts and every prompt has its own template requirement for instance if you go to hugging face then this is the decilm 6 billion model which has the prompt requirement like this you have to write the prompt in this way for example for microsoft 5 model you need to write prompt in this way if you check the stabilities stable diffusion model then they have their own prompt requirements plus if you check at the llama models then you have a different prompt requirement so how do you remember all of these prompts and how do you manage them this is where peso comes to your rescue if you want to use Pezo for prompt management to centralize your prompts in one location, then go to Pezo.ai and then create your free account. I will drop the link in video's description too. Once you log in to Pezo.ai with your account, then you can create a new project to store all of your prompts. In order to create a new project, simply click on create project on the right and then give your project a name. I already have created one with the name test, so click here. Once you click on this project, you will be presented with this screen. Then it will give you how much cost you have incurred so far and then some of the other metrics. On the left hand side, in this menu, click on prompts and this is where you can create your own prompts. If you want to create a new prompt, click on new prompt and give it a name and also specify the type whether it's a prompting model or a chat model i already have created a prompt first which is a prompt type if you click on it it will show you some of the settings so in this one what you need to do you can type any prompt for example i'll say what is the capital of tonga tonga is a pacific island near australia and instead of giving Tonga, what I'll do, I'll just put it in braces to make it a parameter. I'll just say country and question mark. So this is my prompt. Before saving it, you can test it. So on the right hand side, you can click on test. It is asking for you the country. I'll say Tonga. Run test. It is using this GPT 3.5 turbo model at the moment. Provider is OpenAI and then it, it is showing you token then the cost status whether your prompt was good enough or not for this model it is and then on the bottom it is showing you the answer and you can check if the answer is right or wrong and if it is wrong then you can alter your prompt to make it more uh, representative to get the correct answer you can not only get the output in forms of this text or in the json format like this with all the parameters in the request response fashion and if i close it then on the right hand side you can see a lot of parameters that you can mention such as the randomness with temperature probability with top p frequency penalty presence penalty and few other things now one of the limitation of this peso which i really dislike is that it only supports gpt open ai so far so you would need uh, an open ai api key especially if you are trying to use it through api but i will show you later but for this demo you don't need any open ai's api key thankfully and you don't have to pay them 20 dollars so don't worry for this testing 
Now this is what prompt is. And you can create different project with different prompts or different models as you wish. And then you can se select your models from here. So as you can see right now it has OpenAI stat completion, Azure OpenAI and Anthropic. And both of those are not still available. Okay, so this is one thing. Now let me show you how you can use the API, uh, Pezzo API I mean, in the Linux environment or in the notebook environment. And as Pezzo is an open source project, so you can even go to their GitHub repo and read the docs and check the code out and everything is there in this GitHub repo. And I'll drop the link in video's description. Okay, now in the next step, let me show you how you can access Pezzo through code. First thing you need to do is to install the Pezzo with your pip command, the so pip install Pezzo. Let me run it. Now, once that's finished, we will set our environment variables. So that's done. You would need three environment variables. First is Pezzo uh, environment. Default is production, so I'm using that. Then you would need Pezos API key and also project ID. And I will rotate it after this video, so don't bother copying it. Now, how do you get these things? Go back to your Pezo environment. Now, if you look on this screen, on the top right, there is copy project ID. If you click here, this is going to give you your project ID. Now, for the API keys and stuff, the best way is to go to go back in this uh, tab and then go to your organization click on api key and this will give you your api key and then you can uh, check various things here project and stuff and a lot of other things and if you have created any other environment you can pick up the environment name from there okay so i'm back in my project and you can even copy your project ID from here. So this is how I have obtained all of these three things. Click to play it. That's done. In the next one, let's import these libraries. So first is Pezo client and then open AI's. Okay, so I haven't set it, which is fine. I'll just show you the code then because I haven't uh, obtained my open AI's API key. So this is the code you use. First you import these things and then this is the prompt name which we already have defined. So if you go back to Pezzo's site, go to prompts. So this is the prompt name first. You have to replace it with your own here. And then you uh, pass this prompt on to your OpenAI's chat model and then it gets a chat completion response and you can print it out later on. So this is it. I hope uh, that you enjoyed Pezzo and uh, I really hope that you, they would make this available with the open source model or with your own locally hosted models. If you already are using it, please share your uh, experience in the comments. And if you like the content, please consider subscribing to the channel. Thank you.